Hi, this demonstration will go over several key use cases for Forda CWP Workload Guardian. These use cases include uh, risk management, which provides visibility into risk profiles for your public cloud accounts, virtual machines, workloads, storage, and resources. Threat detection and response which analyzes uh, anomalous behaviors and provides policies to automate alerts and trigger action based on the security events. Data security and compliance, which scans uh, your data storage buckets for malware and sensitive data, which includes uh, sets of predefined compliance policies and reports to meet data production regulations. And Lastly, traffic analysis and investigation, which identifies and monitors network traffic logs to determine risk classification and visibility into network resources and topology. Let's look at the AWS account that has currently some medium risk. So let's drill down to that, get to the resources of the uh, alerts page, sort via the high risk level. And here you can see the high risk level for S3 bucket, VPC, and so forth. And if we look at um, one of these alerts, for example, this one, it shows you malware detection, sensitive data, and then public right as well. And clicking in the alerts tab will show you all the policies that are violated and we can look at the S3 bucket should not be publicly editable or available right so to drill down into it click on the details button and if we expand this little carrot it tells you you know check if S3 buckets are publicly editable uh, for this account and if we click on the policy name this is where you will get the ability to either auto remediate if that's there in this context tab there is an allowed auto fix ability so if you enable this and save CWP will go into your AWS account and disable the editable publicly editable feature for that S3 bucket otherwise if you want to do it manually you can come to the click on the remediation tab and follow these steps to resolve this issue now let's look at the uh, threat detection and response uh, use case here and we're going to look at the workload tab here or the panel showing you all the exposures right threat threat detection of botnet risky connection and so forth we're going to drill down into the botnet portion of it and clicking on one of the accounts here we're going to utilize the AWS one right you can see more information but on the right hand side here we can see traffic for the suspicious uh, botnet here you can see the suspicious um, communication via this IP so we highlight this policy violation we click on it we can see the violated policy and again clicking on that will drill down into that uh, more details and here on the right hand side you can see the list of source and ports and IP and so forth and this little icon tells you that this is a known bot entity that's been detected by FortiGuard Labs and if we click on that information you'll get a opening of the FortiGuard Labs table showing you the IP address and all the different botnets that's hosted uh, via this IP address so that's a quick instance in showing you that um, all the intelligence that is available in Fortecar Labs and to remediate this you can click on the policy violation name up on the top uh, right here which will take you to the policies and in the remediation tab there's manual steps to how to resolve this uh, instance now let's look at data exposure right whether it's malware or sensitive data via these uh, two um, 
display here for malware scan and DLP scan. First, let's look at malware scan. These are all the malware that's been detected recently. And as you can see right now, the sensitive data portion of it is we're just looking at malware. And currently, all of uh, these Google account or this specific Google account has detected malware in their storage. So if you can, if you want to see more detail, click on the file name. Here you can see the static information, right, of the ransomware name, the account, and so forth, and then the violation data pattern that we've um, detected. And this is the activity that happened. So this is fairly recent, which happened July 22nd on um, 3.26 p.m. So this is one of the activities that you can see from a malware detection portion of it. If we also go to look at sensitive data in this malware uh, DLP scan portion of it, again, you will list out all the accounts that have detected sensitive information. So for this one, we'll just look at this account here that happened today, actually. Again, the static information is provided. The violation data pattern is provided. So here, since this is a test account, you know, this file has DLP or US Germany passport number, birthday, social security number, and so forth. And then again, if there was more activities, uh, you would see more entries here. But since this took place today around um, 4 o'clock or 4 a.m. this morning, uh, this is the only entry. So this provides a quick glimpse into detection of malware and sensitive data. Let's look at our last use case of traffic analysis and response. So go to the risk trend tab, click on uh, threat protection, right? So in here you'll be able to see all the suspicious activity. So these are listing four of them. They're just listing, you know, suspicious location. So we're going to drill down into this account and it tells you it's uh, what's happening. It's a file upload by demo user and then they uploaded a, a social security number from location in Sunnyvale so it's kind of suspicious and to f drill further down you can click on the activity links to see a map of where the activity took place you can look at the map uh, activity and see that you know the what account again what account demo user where in the world this was uploaded by what IP address and then the object that was uploaded so this gives you kind of a, a quick glimpse into the traffic activity and some of those activities that are violated for the threat protection is you know suspicious location which is what we looked at there's also suspicious time movement login behavior and so forth and you can you know customize these as you see fit thanks for watching